is associate professor in um, new media, in new media. Um, an IT grad. And he uh, can answer any question about that and that, that you well, first of all, thank you for inviting me, and thank you for listening to me. Uh, I put together like a little brief presentation, largely because I hate kind of talking off the cuff. Um, so I just use this to kind of like guide the conversation. I wanted to talk to you guys about opportunities that are available within CUNY. Um, the two schools that I represent are the Wardia Community College, and the other one is the CUNY School of Professional Studies, which is CUNY's online division. So I want to talk to you about both of those opportunities. Just a little bit of background on me. Um, I graduated in the class of 99. Uh, Mary Ann was one of my uh, first professors here. Um, and <laughs> I, I, did, I had to put you on blast, I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, I. This is all very familiar to me. It's kind of scary how familiar it is and how yet different. You know, I look at all the young faces. I look at the, it's it's literally the same thing. I see some black people here. You know, <laughs> 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 people get some more in here. Um, but um, I, I, it's it's almost kind of like coming home to a certain extent. So once again, thank you for being here. I've been in a corporate IT division for about 25 years between corporate IT. Uh, higher education, um, my experience is basically all throughout technology. Um, the City University of New York, I don't know how many people are really familiar with it, but it's probably one of the largest, if not the largest, uh, single institution in the country uh, in terms of uh, five homes, half a million uh, full-time students. Uh, 24 campuses, um, basically throughout the entire city. Um, as I said before, the two schools that I represent are LaGuardia and the School of Professional Studies. Um, both are very different, and the, uh, the demographics are probably what we have here at NYU. Uh, the CUNY School of Professional Studies, as I said before, is the first online uh, institution within CUNY. Uh, we have eight full-time, fully online programs there. Uh, we serve about 2,500 students. Uh, it's a very small, it's one of the newer upstart organizations within CUNY. Uh, LaGuardia is a little bit more established. It was established back in the 1970s, if I remember correctly. It's one of the largest minority-serving institutions in the country, definitely in New York. Um, 20,000 full-time students, 60,000 part-time. Uh, our population is basically almost, uh, I'd say 42% Hispanic, 21% uh, black, 21% Asian, uh, and 14% white. Um, so it's a heavily minority institution. Uh, many of the students who are there are first generation immigrants. Um, so the population that you're dealing with, especially when you're learning topics like digital media and so forth, keep in mind that in addition to learning the technology, they're also learning culture um, integrating into a new society for many of them. The two programs that I work in are the communication and media program at SBS uh, and the new media technology program at LaGuardia. Uh, I'll have to admit the new media program, I, to a large extent, I copied a lot of what I learned here. I wanted to make it cross-disciplinary. Um, Higher Ed, and Marianne and I have been mumbling about this outside, it, it, it can be an awesome experience for those of you who decide to move into that area. Uh, it's very different than working agency work. It's very different than working startups, both of which I've done. Uh, it can be very rewarding, but it has to be something that kind of comes from within you um, because you're dealing, with, like I said before, with students who, to a certain extent, have been underserved uh, and who are eager and anxious to participate in this whole digital revolution that we're, that we're seeing. Um, the program that we have at, uh, at LaGuardia basically encompasses traditional digital media. We're expanding now um, totally into a brand new areas of game development, mobile application design, digital journalism, e-commerce, and entrepreneurship. It basically spans the humanities, the business department, 
the English department, the computer information and math departments. So we've expanded this to a true cross-disciplinary um, approach. And that was a struggle in itself um, because it's kind of hard getting some traditional academics to <coughs> come together with these converging technologies. Um, the program that I'm building over at CUNY SBS is basically taking a large part of what I did at LaGuardia and trying to translate that to an online division uh, so that not only can we start to educate students in the New York City area, but also beyond. Uh, and particularly, it's, it's, a, it's priced very differently than many of the other <coughs> online institutions because we wanted to make sure that learning uh, particularly in an online environment, is accredited, that it's rigorous, uh, but it's also affordable. And that's one of the things that I, I stopped to think about my experience here at ITP. You know, I was working corporate IT at the time, and I probably wouldn't, and I was making pretty decent money for the time. I probably wouldn't have gone to the program because if my job hadn't been paid for it, it, because it was expensive. My parents weren't particularly wealthy. I got my corporation to pay for it. And I only was able to do that because I kind of lied. I worked in the telecommunications department. I actually, I really wanted to go to film school, but I knew that that didn't have to pay for me to go to film school. <laughs> so when I said it was, you know, interactive telecommunications, and I was like, well, it's still in the same building, and we're going to be doing digital video. But I didn't tell them that, you know. I was like, man, I could take courses, do the whole thing. I was like, yeah, maybe, maybe this will slide through. And it did. It was like, oh, telecommunications. <laughs> I had no idea what it was. I was like, yeah. So the reason that I, I bring that is because I wanted to bring that same type of passion to an online environment as well. Students who could not either because of life choices, decisions, family constraints, wouldn't be able to basically come here and sit on a floor and, and learn, but basically could sit in front of the computer and learn the principles of digital media. Um, so that's what we're attempting to do at um, the, the uh, CUNY School of Professional Studies with Communication and Media. Our students, as I said before, are extremely diverse. I'm just going to skip through this. I've already gone through that piece. What I wanted to basically say is that what I'm looking for, I'm hoping to get out of here, speaking to all of you, is to one, uh, get you interested in the field of academia uh, because now, I, I kind of consider myself a pioneer, um, and that was rough. Um, things are starting to change. Uh, a lot of the institutions that are more traditional, like CUNY and well-established, not really as forward-thinking as, let me back up just real brief. This environment here is unique, treasured. You will not find a place like ITP in many places where you can sit down and you have two years to basically experiment, play, your instructors tell you, well, just go ahead and figure it out. That, that's amazing. There's a lot of other places where there's constraints placed around you, the way they teach you, what they expect you to develop, what they expect you to design. Personally, my, my own personal hope is that many of you consider academia as a way to make social change. The more of you who come in, the more of you who can affect the system, I do believe things will start to change. Um, what I'm looking to do is to, initially, is to give you a look, guys, maybe a little bit of experience. Some of you who are interested in teaching, maybe have you come in and maybe run a, a section or a, le, uh, a seminar. Those of you who are getting ready to graduate, maybe you might want to come and be adjuncts. Um, those of you who, um, who have experience, you know, we're looking for people to sit on our technical advisory committees to talk about a lot of the technologies that the traditional professors who are in some of the humanities and some of the other areas have no clue about. And they, are, they need someone with your expertise to actually come in and help guide them. Um, and also, I wanted to give you guys an opportunity to volunteer and to look at underserved populations. 
The thing that always tripped me out about NYU, and I don't mean to kind of, I'm not trying to rich shame a lot of you guys or anything like that, but most of the students who go here have resources. Families, you know. I, I've had students in my classes who weren't able to buy the books, who weren't able to, you know, get like web hosting for certain things that you and I would just totally take for granted. Totally is inconceivable to some of them. So I wanted to give back. I, my mother's a deeply religious person. The one time in her life that she actually cursed at me is when I told her I was going to go work at CUNY. And I told her the salary I was going to be making after leaving corporate IT to go teach. She was like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> But in some ways, it's been one of the most rewarding experiences for me to be able to work with disaffected populations, to work with kids who honestly, you know, five, six years later, they'll come back and I'll see them online at a movie theater and they're like, you know, professor, you know, I'm working at, you know, such and such media over here. And I just wanted to say that, you know, you kind of inspired me. Honestly, except for my kids being born, Hands down, greatest thing that I, greatest thing in my life. And I hope that some of you might want to take a step into that area. Uh, I'm done with my spiel. <laughs> um, any questions that you have, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm going to leave all my contact information. Reach out to me at any point in time. I love talking to ITP students. Um, hell, maybe one of y'all will hire me or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you once again. Uh,